Thank you, Congresswoman Bush. Uh, thank you to my colleagues, and thank you to my dear friend and sister, Rashida Tlaib, who um, has led the fight in this. Um, I thank her, and I thank you all, because once again, we stand here for humanity. We stand here once again for those who can no longer stand for themselves. The 30,000 Palestinians who have been killed by the Israeli government. 30,000 daughters, sons, brothers, mothers, fathers, babies, children, and adolescents. Today, the population of Rafah has increased from 300,000 people to over 1.4 million people as desperate, grieving families have been forced to flee to where they were told they'd be safe. And yet, they are still at risk of relentless and senseless bombings. 600,000 children, I want to repeat that number, 600,000 children are in Rafah. An attack on Rafah is too costly. Today we stand here to say that even one innocent life is one too many. We cannot allow the Netanyahu government to continue the assault on Gaza. I know all of us want to keep children safe. And right now, Palestinian parents are comforting their children as bombs rain on Gaza and as warplanes fly overhead. Parents are trying to put children to sleep in a place that's not their home as famine and disease quickly spreads. These children have already seen and experienced unspeakable thing that no child or adult should ever witness. They're not safe. Just yesterday, I joined my colleagues, Congresswoman Jayapal and Congressman Raskin, in leading a letter to appropriators and administrators to restore the funding to the United Nations Relief and Work Agency, or UNRWA, the agency that has provided necessary aid to Palestinians since the Nakba, that is already stretched thinly due to overwhelming need that is at risk of being shut down. We cannot allow the bombings to continue, and we cannot allow basic humanitarian aid to falter. Right now, pregnant women are not receiving proper medical care. Right now, women are having cesarean sections, C-sections with no anesthesia. Children are experiencing highly curable diseases and injuries, but are dying because they simply don't have medicine. Families are starving. There is no way to put into words the suffering of Palestinians right now, but we have to continue the fight. We have to confront these disturbing images that we've all seen. So do not forget our shared humanity. Do not forget that Palestinian children are going to sleep with empty stomachs, untended wounds, and fear in their hearts. Don't forget the parents unable to sleep as they grieve and wait for the next attack. And don't forget the people of Palestine. And do not forget Rafah. Thank you.